Where is the world's largest pyramid? Hey everyone! Did you know that the world's largest pyramid isn't in Egypt? That's right, pyramids are often associated with the ancient Egyptians, but they also appear in other countries and cultures around the world. The biggest one is actually the Great Pyramid of Cholula, located in Puebla, Mexico, with a base of 450 meters by 450 meters and a height of 66 meters. It's recognized by the Guinness Book of Records as the largest pyramid and the largest monument ever built. For comparison, the Great Pyramid of Cholula is almost one-third larger in estimated volume than the famous Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, although it's not as tall. Where are Panama hats made? Speaking of surprising origins, let's talk about Panama hats. Despite their name, Panama hats are made exclusively in Ecuador. There's some debate about how they got their name. Some folks say it's because workers constructing the Panama Canal wore them as protection from the searing sun, Others believe it was because the Panama Canal was used for transporting them. Regardless of their origin, these wide-brimmed straw hats became popular with top celebrities and world leaders. However, their popularity diminished somewhat in the 1950s and 1960s as men stopped wearing hats as often. Is there no gravity on the moon? Now let's shift from Earth to the moon. Have you ever wondered if there's no gravity on the moon? As a matter of definition, all matter has the force of gravity as a condition of its being. The moon's gravitational pull is about one-sixth that of Earth's, which is why astronauts can walk on its surface but appear to bounce around. Isaac Newton's theory of gravity explains that the force of attraction between objects depends on their masses and the distance between them. So, while the moon does have gravity, it's not as strong as the Earth's. Do Inuits have hundreds of words for snow? Moving on to linguistic myths, have you heard that Inuits have hundreds of words for snow? This rumor dates back to 1911, when anthropologist Franz Boas mentioned that Eskimos have four different words for snow. He was referring to the Inuit people, and the number of words has been exaggerated over time. Linguist Steven Pinker, in his book The Language Instinct, clarifies that the Eskimos do not have more words for snow than English speakers. Counting generously, experts can come up with about a dozen. Is the center of the Earth molten rock? Let's dig a little deeper. Literally. There's a popular misconception that the center of the Earth is bubbling hot molten rock. While it's not entirely true, there's a grain of truth in it. The Earth is made up of three main layers. The core, mantle, and crust. The core is often thought to be molten rock, but it's more complex than that. The core has two parts. The inner core, which is solid, and the outer core, which is liquid. Both are made of intensely hot iron and nickel. Is one half of the moon in perpetual darkness? Speaking of layers and complexity, let's debunk another moon myth. Is one half of the moon in perpetual darkness? Many believe the dark side of the moon is always dark and never seen from Earth. However, this isn't true. Approximately 41% of the moon is never seen from Earth due to its synchronous rotation. But the dark side of the moon is fully illuminated when it's facing away from us during the new moon phase. The moon rotates on its axis in the same amount of time it takes to orbit Earth, which is why we always see the same side. What animal are the Canary Islands named after? Now let's dive into some historical trivia. The Canary Islands are often thought to be named after canary birds, but that's not the case. The islands are named after Canis, the Latin word for dog, referring to the large dogs that once roamed the island. Pliny the Elder named one of the islands Canaria, the canary bird was named after the islands when Europeans brought the bird back as a pet in the 15th century. Where are Chinese berries from? Here's another food-related twist. Chinese gooseberries, which are famously known as kiwi fruit, actually come from New Zealand. The kiwi vine is native to South China, but the fruit was genetically improved by New Zealand horticulturist Hayward Wright. Originally called Chinese gooseberries, the name was changed to kiwi fruit in the 1950s due to geopolitical tensions. Interestingly, the Chinese don't have much interest in kiwis, except as a tonic for women after childbirth. Does the toilet flush in opposite directions in the northern and southern hemispheres? Let's flush out another myth, literally. You might have heard that water drains clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere due to the Coriolis effect. This isn't true for small bodies of water like sinks and toilets. The Coriolis effect influences large-scale phenomena like weather patterns. The direction in which water drains is actually determined by the shape and design of the basin or toilet, not by hemisphere. What is the tallest waterfall in the world? When you think of waterfalls, 
Niagara Falls might come to mind as the tallest. However, the tallest waterfall is actually Angel Falls in Venezuela. Angel Falls stands at 979 meters, nearly 20 times higher than Niagara Falls. Named after American pilot Jimmy Angel, who discovered them in the 1930s, Angel Falls is a stunning natural wonder that far surpasses Niagara in height. Is Greenland the largest island in the world? Greenland is commonly believed to be the largest island in the world with an area of 2,166,086 2166 km2. However, this is because Australia is not considered an island but a continent. If we count Australia, it's the largest island with an area of 7,686,850 km2. Other large islands include New Guinea, Borneo, and Madagascar, but Greenland tops the list when Australia is excluded. Is the Great Wall of China the only man-made object that can be seen from space? This myth claims the Great Wall of China is the only man-made object visible from space. In reality, many man-made structures can be seen from low Earth orbit. But the Great Wall is challenging to spot due to its color blending with the natural landscape. Some astronauts say it's nearly invisible from 180 miles up. So, while it's an impressive structure, it's not the only visible one from space. Is the Big Dipper a constellation? The Big Dipper is often thought of as a constellation, but it's actually an asterism, a pattern of stars recognized in the sky. The Big Dipper is part of the larger constellation Ursa Major, or the Great Bear. Known by different names around the world, it's a prominent feature in the night sky and has been used for navigation throughout history. Is the North Star the brightest star in the sky? Despite its fame, the North Star, or Polaris, isn't the brightest star in the sky. It ranks as the 49th brightest. The brightest star at night is Sirius, also known as the Dog Star, found in the constellation Canis Major. Polaris is well known for its position nearly aligned with the Earth's rotational axis, making it a key navigational star. Do penguins live at the North Pole? Ever wondered why penguins don't live at the North Pole? It's because they reside in the Southern Hemisphere, in places like Antarctica, South America, South Africa, and Australia. Polar bears live at the North Pole, so penguins and polar bears never meet in the wild. Penguins thrive in cold climates, but the North Pole is out of their natural range. Is the Bermuda Triangle a cursed place for planes? The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is notorious for mysterious disappearances of ships and planes. However, this reputation is more myth than reality. The Bermuda Triangle's boundaries are often exaggerated, and the rate of accidents isn't unusual compared to other heavily traveled regions. While it's a fascinating story, there's no evidence of supernatural causes behind the incidents. I hope you enjoyed these myth-busting facts. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. See you next time.